section. So again, to reiterate how this works, you need the qualifying time and then you need to finish in the top three because Whiteman's already going, right? These three people... There's four people going. Yeah, but Whiteman's already Whiteman's going. Already... He's already going. So these three people... We well, can put this in a reel, actually. Are you... Wait, are you saying one of your picks is Whiteman? No, no, he's already there. Yeah, yeah, but what if... What do you mean? What if he pulls out? No, no, he won't pull out. <laughs> Th right, right, let's start this again. So Certainly this year I tried to keep things a little bit more low-key for the British champs as I kind of wanted to get myself in a mentality of knowing that I could make the final and really believing that. Got through the heat unscathed which was great and um, yeah that meant that Saturday night I could stay up in a hotel, kind of switch my mind into finals mode a little bit and almost take that race super serious which is um, a good way of doing it and a way I'd definitely do it again I think um, based on the success of this year. Warming up for the race and kind of getting prepared is an interesting atmosphere at British Champs because the field's very split between the top guys who are there to really get a job done and, you know, it's business mode, it's often career-defining whether you can make a major champs. And then there's the second half of the field, which I'd categorise myself in, where it's a little bit more of a friendly atmosphere. Everyone's kind of speaking in more dialogue about what might happen in the race, who might qualify, how it might go down, and it's sort of less pressure on the final day for people like myself as we're trying to just outperform our ranking and sort of compete against guys that are a few levels above us so the pressure isn't really necessarily the same that being said still kind of switch into game mode when it needs to come out an hour before headphones in go and do my usual warm-up you know get ready to really perform and don't want to waste on a great opportunity to race um and yeah it's just a really interesting atmosphere at british champs you're around athletes that you're aspiring to be you want to be the guy that everyone's looking at thinking bloody hell he might win this or he's run this time in this diamond league and you know you have a lot of famous faces that you only see once a year so when you come to sitting in the call room and you're looking around and you've got your goalies Kerr's, Stonia's, Giles whoever it might be on that specific day you have to kind of you know find a balance between giving them the respect they deserve but also rewarding yourself and patting yourself on the back and saying right come on you're not just here to take part you're here to to give yourself a really good account and make sure that you have a good go at it. It's a real um, mindset shift from a regular race where you're going to chase the clock and you just dialed into a certain pace and you're thinking about racing and almost just switching out the idea that just because someone's better than you on paper that you could possibly beat them on the day. And last year in 2022, I didn't have that mindset in the race. I was just happy to be in the final and really I was racing not to come last rather than racing to win. This year, the goal was to race to win and I think I made a good job of that.
Charles? Brother? Alice? No long form, just Alice. <laughs> that was wet, wasn't it? That was brutal. That was good. Tap that was so it fun. Was biblical. That was I thought you'd love it that when, was when, so the, when fun. the thunder was coming out. I wish we weren't out for so long yeah. in the rain because that got a bit cold, but I was like, yeah, this is a leveller. Because you know one was running fast as soon as that started, so I knew it was going to be a crawl yeah. and then fast. So I was like, I know I'm going to be in the race for quite a while here. Yeah. yeah, I felt good. I don't know what the splits were, but it was pretty slow. Yeah. And then I was just like, I was just like, 209 through Yeah. I was just like, stay in it. On the, don't be on the inside. But I don't, I don't know how well it'll show on the video or if we put some of the footage. But I knew that Giles was on the inside, and this race is like he's got to make the world team. So he was going to cut across, and I was like, he's going to cut across regardless of where I am. So I had to give him a little bit of <laughs> space. And then when they went, when they went, then. I was a bit like, okay, I've got to close the gap, yeah. and I was kind of trapped a little bit in the middle. But I was really happy with how it ran. Yeah. What and the, the difference, this series, closing the gap. Last year, I was nine seconds away from first. I don't know what it was this year, but it was less than nine seconds. Yeah, it was quite and then, like, Tom beat me by three seconds last year, and I was, like, half a second away. Yeah. So in terms of closing the, the gap, it's done what he said. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's good. I think the, the difference and what I need, and it is improvement, is like, the last 200 is great. I need to be able to go from 300 yeah. back. Do you see what I mean? But that's just like developing strength. You did, you did move up with 300 to go, but not like yeah. closing. But like when the, you, you see like with me, it's like turning on the tap. It's like I'm moving at an okay pace and then turbo yeah. and I'm really fast. What I need to do is, and what you saw that they did is, Winding. they went, we're moving faster, 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 turbo. Yeah. And that faster, faster, faster bit, I'm not losing out in the last 200. Yeah. I'm just as fast as them in the last 200. It's that bit that they can afford to wind up because yeah. they've got all the added strength. So this time next year, that's where, yeah. you know, just got to close good. it a bit more. It's good. This, it is really the difference. Is. this is the difference though. This guy's just become national champ and now he's doing a little session. <laughs> Strides with smiles, that could be a series. Strides with smiles, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. Class. That it was, was good. Like, it was really How fun was it to watch? watch? It was really fun to watch. Enjoy. Uh, it was so good at the, the like, thunder and stuff. That was class, like, wasn't it? It was biblical. When the lightning went, the lightning, was I was on the start, the lightning went and I went, Fog Dad's got his flash on. <laughs> 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 what a legend. Oh. Yeah, that was good. And do you know what as well? You know, this is really interesting. The order from first down to, so was that eighth? Yeah. First down to eighth was the exact order that we were seeded on Season's Vest. Really? It went from the very fastest, so Gawley, Giles, um, Mills, Stonia, Adam, Piers, Tom, me. Yeah. And that was on the exact Season's yeah, yeah, Vest. Yeah. So that's like, I've not been beaten by anyone that's run slower than me this year. And the only people that beat me have run faster than me this year. What was what was last year again? Was it ninth? Did you finish ninth? I finished ninth last year. I was going to say, yeah. But last year it was only 12 in the final. So I was yeah. nine, ninth out of 12 last year, and this year I was eighth out of 14. So That sounds like progress for me, brother. When did you become from South London? Just dabbling. Nice you slime. Know, just dabbling working in some on it. Slime. Yeah, nice. Should we, um, Sweet. Should we head back to the yeah. sweet, sweet smells of Cambridge? Let's go. Oh, just quickly. 800 metre predictions. Oh, I God. called it. Did you? It's a very Josh Kerr one. Event. Even the sun's out for it. It's the men's Ethan Ethan Hassey two. Bizamana three. Got it completely wrong. Oh. Not the zero out of three. Videos. Oh, that's off the shorts as well. There's not much material. That's just sweat, that. <laughs> that's, that's just that's, that's just hard work. That's just the arse sweat. Here goes the chest. Oh, there she blows. Put that in a reel. <laughs>